Hey friends, it's Quimby, the Grateful Queen here on YouTube. Welcome back for another Friday Live at 5, every Friday on the channel at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I do a live video with resellers in our community and we talk about all things reselling online in 2021. It is March 19th. I'm coming to you from Northern California. The sun is out. It's in the 60s. It feels like spring is upon us, which is so very exciting. I'm so happy that you're here. I see people starting to come into the chat. So make sure to introduce yourself in the chat, even if you've done it before, because we always get new members, but we're all really trying to get to know each other so that we can support each other and encourage each other in our reselling business. We can network, we can make connections, we can get a lot of education right here in the chat and on the channel. So remember to tell people what your real name is, not just your YouTube username. How long have you been selling? Where do you live in the country? What are you selling? And give us kind of a check-in about, um, give us kind of a, a check-in about your week in reselling. How are things going? What's selling? What are you working on? And all that good stuff. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Quenby. I'm a part-time reseller. I resell on eBay and Poshmark. And I started a little bit of Etsy uh, to sell some of my reselling tools and things. So we can talk about that if you're interested. Okay, I want to say hi to some friends. I have a couple topics I put in the title of the video that I want to make sure we address. One of them is about selling um, fakes online. I had a viewer write in, one of my friends here on the channel, who wrote in to me about an experience she had accidentally selling a fake on Poshmark and how that was handled. And I think we can all learn from it. Um, and I also want to talk about, here it is March, we are moving quickly into spring and summer. And so I want to talk about how we can prepare a reselling business for that change in season. What can we do to get ready for um, a new season of selling? So we'll talk about that. Let me say hi to some friends and then we will get into our topics. And if you have any questions or concerns or anything you want to talk about tonight, be sure to leave it in the chat because this show is really kind of like free form. I just go along with whatever you guys want to talk about. So let's say hi to some friends. I see Michelle is here. He I snuck in to say hi and no one's here yet. Yep, you were here like 10 of and we haven't started yet, but you got the first spot and I'm really glad to see you, Michelle. Living for Naps is here saying hi. And I'm so happy it's Friday. I've been feeling a little bit more of that just with the nice weather coming. It's like, I don't know. I'm finally feeling maybe ready to go out a little bit more. Um, Alana is here saying hello. And Dorothy is with us. Hi, it's so good to see you. Glad to see you, friends. Welcome, welcome. Here's Deborah Anderson saying hi, everyone. Just settling in with a nice glass of wine. It's been a busy week. Deborah is um, retired and doing reselling as a way to supplement her income as a retired person, which I think is amazing. How are things going and how, why has it been a bit busy week? Family stuff, Deborah, or all sorts of stuff? So great to see you always. And Zoe is here. Um, good to see you, Zoe. I was just going to carry on our conversation that we had on Instagram this week about selling shoes and stuff. So if you want to share that here. And she missed everyone the last two weeks. I know. Sometimes if um, you will find that if you come to this reseller live, we've developed a real community here, a real network, and you, you get to see the same people. And sometimes if someone doesn't make it, who's usually here, we're like, where are they? What, where have they been? Um, so sometimes people message me on Instagram and say, oh, I don't know if I can be here. That is not required, but we do wonder how you're doing and what's going on. Sometimes if I haven't seen you in a while, I'll check in with you myself on Instagram and just say, hey, just check it in. Are you okay? How are things? Hi, Babette, so great to see you. Such a good community member here of the channel. And Sarah Lee is here. Hi, Quenby, happy to see you. I'm happy to see you guys. I was um, I was so looking forward to this. I find that talking with you every Friday, it's a really important part of my life and also my reselling business. There are things that I think of during the week that I know I wanna share. I get to talk with some of you on Instagram and YouTube during the week and it really has become, um, you know, you guys are my work colleagues and my friends. So I, I really look forward to it. Kim Miller is here. Happy Friday. Getting ready for the chat by pouring myself a glass of wine. I love it. You guys know that I live in wine country, right? I'm in Sonoma County, California. 
which is a destination for people all over the world who appreciate wine. I mean, there there's vineyards on my street, but if you go a couple miles up towards Sonoma, California, it is just gorgeous wine country. And then guess what, you guys? I get really good wine, really inexpensive. It's crazy. Whenever I go back to Boston, where my family's from, the Boston area, I'll go to the store, like the they call it packies and because they don't sell alcohol anywhere else except in package stores or or stores that sell alcohol. Anyway, I am shocked that you have to pay like how much you have to pay for a decent bottle of wine. I'm used to getting it for like under $10 here, but I digress. Hey, Rhonda Creek. Rhonda Creek has been showing up on Fridays. I'm so glad you're here and ginger hand picked. Do any of you guys have experience with selling um, or accidentally selling fake designer? We've talked about it a little bit here on the channel before and definitely on our Friday night lives. Uh, and I know many of us are very cautious about selling designer stuff because we don't want to sell a fake. And I just want to make sure everyone knows that selling fakes intentionally or unintentionally is, I think, illegal. I think um, not just on the platforms, but I think in general. I know we've talked about it before. Feel free to give me other language for that. But sometimes it happens by accident. So I want to read to you um, one of our friends' experiences this week. Yay, Terry is here. And she's saying hi to Veronica. Evolving always, my friend Terry is here. Oh gosh, it moved too quick. I'm so sorry. Goddess Threads is here saying, happiest Friday. Oh, happy Friday. Happy Friday. I am feeling the Friday vibes. I don't know why. Veronica's made it in. I said hi to Kim and Sarah Lee and Zoe and Dorothy. All righty, moving right along. And I said hi to Terry. So glad she's here. And Barbara Babash. Good evening, everyone. Barbara, we haven't seen you as much the last few weeks. What's going on? I know you've popped in, but give us a check in. What's happening with you in your posh closet? How are sales? What are you up to? Alana's here. Okay. Oh, Liz is here. Realize you. I love that username. I always tell her, hey, ladies, I love Fridays here. I love Fridays with you. And Aly Alyssa is here. One more reason I'm glad I don't drink more money for clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's like, you know, in a, the more you learn about things like wine or alcohol, you want the better stuff. So more money for clothes. That is a really, really good um, idea. Hi, Debbie Whitehead. Great to see you. Um, I didn't drink for over a decade because uh, I just wanted to not for a while. When I was living in yoga ashrams and studying yoga, I was just trying to be as conscious as possible, then, you know, motherhood and life. And I start, I drink a little bit now socially or whatever you say. Um, okay. Let's see. Did I say hi? Because I've got some things we need to talk about. I want to read you this um, information so we can all learn. I think I said hi to a lot of friends. So happy that you're all here. If I missed anybody, please put Debbie R is here. Hi, Quenby. Listing as I listen. Good to be here tonight. You are a very good reseller. I listen to all the YouTube stuff. Um, when I'm working too. I just love like listening to my friends' videos, thrift hauls, unboxings. There's always great stuff to learn. Um, Alana just finished her wine. Okay, great. So let's talk a little bit of all oh, my mom's here. Barbara, grateful, but Beth's in the house. Yes, I poured my wine. Here I am. Being here on Friday is so wonderful. I just got back from Goodwill. So much fun. Even found something for you. Love to everyone. Grateful, but Beth. That's my mom. And you guys, um, let's see. I saw Tina come in. Um, so, okay. I'm in Sonoma County, California. Many of you who've been a friend of the channel have seen that all year I've been doing unboxings on my channel because I've been ordering inventory for my reselling business online. Haven't gone thrifting because most things have been closed. And even when they opened, it was with restrictions and we've just been hit so hard with COVID here. Now things are opening up. Last week I announced we went from purple tier to red tier so I'm going to be thrifting more. I did a I did a thrift haul on my channel this week where I was talking a lot about selling boho romantic um, lag and look type stuff. So that's kind of more of an educational video too. It's an awesome thrift haul with some great brands you want to know. But I talked a lot about one of my best selling categories, especially on eBay, which is boho or lag and look. If you are even if you're curious about that, um, I'd love to share it with you. That video went up. But my mom's, there's a Goodwill around the corner, a small one that's been closed the entire year, more than a year. 
and it finally opened up last week for the first time. So she can walk there. She's so excited. Hey, Tina from Resale Royalty saying hi. And look at the one of my favorite reselling couples are here. Rescue and resell. Good evening. They find and sell some great stuff. Hi, Jojo. She says, I'm sitting in the Olive Garden. So happy that the restaurant's opened again. Ah, things are open. I know. I know. Peter and I went out to dinner twice last week because we haven't been out in like a year. Okay, so regarding um, selling fakes online, I think illegal is the right word, says Zoe. We've talked about it quite a bit. I haven't seen James yet. Let me know if he pops in. He always has some good insight. And Rebecca's here. Hey, Rebecca. Rebecca, the reseller. So I received this email. I won't make this too long, but I really all want to learn from it. Um, from one of my regular uh, friends on the channel, a viewer. I took a picture so that I could read it to you, and I want to hear what you guys think. Um. It is about accidentally selling, selling a fake. She put this on my channel in one of my videos, so it's public and it's okay for me to share. Um, but she said, Quemby, I'm so upset. I bought three designer boxes. So this is from ThreadUp, and you guys know I love the designer rescue boxes on ThreadUp. I bought three designer boxes. I just received the emails from Poshmark that two Prada shoes are fake. This happened to me for the first time. What should I do? And then she included um, the email that she got from Poshmark. Have you guys ever heard of this? Let me know in the comments. You are not allowed to sell fakes. It's illegal. Poshmark's not allowed to sell fakes either. My guess is it was done inadvertently. And um, see, usually the problem is that a customer receives it and they say, I think this is fake. And they they um, they take that very ser seriously. You could get your account suspended or shut down for that, but this is the note she got from Poshmark. Does anyone have experience with this? This is a note from Poshmark to one of our reselling friends in the community. Hi, Lindsay, hi, Rob. Um, I'm just going over this thing and then we'll chat. So this is what Poshmark sent to our friend who listed the Prada shoes on Poshmark that she got in a thread up box and thought were real. Dear Aga, we are reaching out because the branding company that manufactured this item has informed us that this item is counterfeit based on the limited listing photos. Please note that Poshmark is not making a determination on whether your item is counterfeit. However, when the brand or company submits a request like this, we are legally obligated to promptly remove such listings. No questions asked. Please note this remove listing will be reflected in your Posh stats under moderator refu removed listings. Rest assured this stat will clear after 30 days. So what do you guys think of that? So they didn't suspend her account or anything like that. That means Prada the brand is on Poshmark, somebody monitoring whether things are fake, counterfeit, or whether they're genuine. I mean, for me, that's so mind blowing. I mean, do you guys have any experience with this? Lindsay says, I received a fake Burberry shirt and a thread up box, and I had to email their customer service multiple times and finally got them to accept me returning the item. And Lindsay makes a really good point. That's what I messaged to her, to Aga. I said, first off, um, I said, we'll talk about it on the Friday Live. We'll get the community's opinion. You can contact ThreadUp and because they're not supposed to sell those and you can get a refund. But that's maybe going to be a refund. How much are the items in the designer box? Like 12 or 15 bucks each. I'm just more, st I'm just more stunned that Prada is on there. Someone from P Prada is on there monitoring things like that. I didn't know that that was happening. Liz says, I tell her to get a second opinion and they better send them back to her. Um, let's see. Okay, Barbara Babash. And Barbara Babash, you probably notice, is a very wise woman and, and drops tons of knowledge bombs in our chat. Barbara says, a seller can be prosecuted under the Trademark Counterfeiting Act of 1984. The act makes it illegal for individuals to knowingly use a counterfeit trademark. Now, here's the thing. Clearly, she does it. And Terry says, this is interesting. Um, clearly, that, that says, like, knowingly. So, I mean, you can just claim I didn't know. I do a lot of authenticating on my own at home. There's enough information on every brand online. But if you want to be extra safe, you can pay $20 to a site like authentication.com, send in your pictures, and then you can get a certificate and sell it with a certificate. So it makes me think, gosh, I wonder if I should be doing that. Zoe said, but thread up should be better. Michelle says, I have no doubt most designers have someone on all selling platforms. I just didn't think of it like that. 
I just didn't think of it like that at all. Let me see what else you guys have to say. Um, Zoe says, thread up makes mistakes for sure, and it stinks. I have never had anything but pass Poshmark verification. I have a bunch of fakes sitting right here from thread up that I just haven't dealt with. So I don't know. Oh, is Islet Dreams here? Rob Trout says, hello, Lori from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm a reseller in Poshmark. Are you using someone else's account, Lori? It says Rob Trout. <laughs> okay. Let me see what else you guys have to say. Oh, here's Isla Dreams reseller. Hey, Charlene, great to see you. And she said, ah, time to relax. Bought a few thrift items today. Must work on both listing and organizing this weekend. Hi, Quemby and the gang. I'm so happy to see you. So great. Liz said, I found a Balenciaga bag yesterday. It, I validated its authenticity via Google and YouTube. And I'm sending it to the Real Real next week because they have the audience for it. See, there you go. Um, so there is some stuff we can do on our own. I, I, have, I have done research to authenticate things. There's so much information out there. There are professionals that will show you everything on the label, what hardware that brand of bag uses. There are so many things to check where I've been able to determine myself, yeah, I really think this is real. I'm going to sell it or no way. It, it's a fake. I'm not going to try and sell it. But if you're unsure or if it's a really expensive item, you might want to get it authenticated. And Poshmark has that built in. So if you sell an item for more than 500, it first goes to Posh, they authenticate it. So, um, and I imagine the real real has the same sort of thing. I would think so. Okay. Oh, Rob Trout, it's her husband's account. Okay. Zoe said, it's just crappy to know ThreadUp sends many of us fakes. You know, I don't know how their whole system works over there. Oh, Malgaratza is here. Hello. What if you sell as unbranded? My understanding from our former conversations on this is that you can't. Now, let me tell you something right now. You can go onto eBay right now and search Gucci jacket. And there are all sorts of people selling fake Gucci jackets. And they're usually shipped from out of the country. And they're usually really cheap. It's so obvious they're fake. I don't know how they get away with that. And, 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 um, we can't. So there's obviously they're taking a risk though. And we don't really want to take a risk because our accounts could be, um, we could be put in eBay jail where they freeze our account for a while. Michelle says inspired items was a topic on my boutique group this week, mainly the checked bags that are Louis Vuitton inspired, not touching stuff like that. I know. And that's the crazy thing because I could walk out to like, Oh, Hey Lori. She said she's a bit late. Um, Oh, good. Um, I could walk down my road right now to Safeway and I'd probably go through Safeway and watch, and I'd probably see five women carrying a fake Louis Vuitton bag. People love them. They want that design. They can't afford a $2,000 bag, but they want it. So people want these items. So I always thought it'd be nice if you could sell it and just say, this is totally fake. Do you still want it? But my understanding is you still cannot sell it. Um, Barbara Babash said, I had someone on Poshmark said that my Louis Vuitton was fake and Poshmark removed it. So Poshmark removed it. Was it a, it was a customer, I assume, not Louis Vuitton. That's what's so interesting to me about this viewer's experience is that Prada, Prada themselves, according to Poshmark. Kim says, does anyone know what this means for her account? Is there some sort of ding that will affect how our account is shared on Poshmark? to buyers, like I've heard of at eBay? It's a really good question. And based on the note they sent her, I would say no, because they didn't say, hey, your account um, is closed while we investigate this, or hey, they didn't, it sounded like kind of a nice no. I mean, she gets this one ding that is called moderator remove listing, rest assured the stat will clear after 30 days and it's completely private. I kind of like that posh. You know, I've been on eBay a long time. I love eBay. I've made so much money on eBay. I've been selling on there 10 years. I love eBay. But I do, I don't know, what's your experience? I do sometimes feel like Posh is a little more seller friendly, a little bit more supportive, especially with their return policy and stuff. I love how they handle the return policy. All right, let's see. Sarah Lee says, it is illegal and the US is not as strict with copyrights and patents as Europe is. Zoe said, technically, if it's branded as a fake, there's no way you can sell it legally. 
I love that you guys have so much knowledge. Thank you. Anybody watching the replay is going to benefit so much. If you are watching the replay, make sure you're subscribed and you like the video. Um, Barbara says, in the U.S. federal law, protecting trademarks makes it illegal to knowingly traffic counterfeit goods, which includes the production, sale, and transports of such goods. So it's like, it's so clear. But it's like, I kind of like that... Um, I feel like Poshmark in this note gave her the benefit of the doubt. They're like, we're not removing it. We just legally have to remove it. So, you know, it doesn't sound like there was any kind of ding. Now on eBay, I have a feeling the account would be suspended for a time or there would be some kind of ding. eBay does that. As far as I know, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, eBay does it more. Resale royalty says, well, thread up does a lot of fishy stuff. So, Oh, I got a note from it on Instagram right now from Nicole saying, I'm sad to be missing the lives. They have a family dinner. So that's why she's not here. Um, Malgrizata says, I sold a few fake items I got in a wholesale box, like a Louis Vuitton coach, and people still buy it. I list it as unbranded. Do you list it online or like Facebook Marketplace? So you're having success. Now, listen, we are all adults here. If she wants to sell a fake bag and mark it as unbranded and let people know, hey, this is not the real deal. That's her choice. And if if she ends up having some problem with her account, she's an adult and she'll say, okay, I'll take it. I think as long as we know what the what the rules are, and then you get to decide what you do in your own time on your own business. Um, okay, let's see what else we got. Lori came in. I'm so glad. Alyssa said, was it a sale over $400 and went through Poshmark's authentication? Not with this one. They just removed it. It wasn't sold and removed. It was listed and removed. Liz said, oh, Prada found them. Wow. Um, Rescue and Resale said, but it said based on limited pictures, I would have them verified. Yeah. I mean, I think that's what I would probably do. I would probably be like, okay, let me double check and um, maybe pay the 20 bucks for authentication for Prada shoes. You can probably get what, at least a hundred bucks? Probably more. I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see if there's anything else about this. What else is going on with you guys as resellers? I've got all sorts of fun stuff to talk to you about. If there's not any other comments about this, I also wanna talk about getting ready for spring and summer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I can't find that comment from Rescue Resale to get it off the screen. Hi, Mo. I see you. I'm so glad you came in. Mo is here from Albuquerque. How are things there? And I saw Castell's Posh Closet. Hi, Quimby and all. Happy Friday. Are you loving this weather? She's in my area. She lives in my area. So it's been so rainy and dark and cold here. And it's been like, ugh. And then today, rainy in the morning and the sun popped out and it's 60 and it feels like um, all, ex all great all excited. Um, <clears throat> Sarah Lee says, interstate comments, federal crime. And I like Zoe's comment here. We can all decide what risk we're comfortable taking. Exactly. It's not up to us to call anybody else out or whatever. We, you decide what you want to do in your business based on the information you have, and I will do the same. Thank you very much. Okay, let's switch gears unless someone has some more stuff. I would love to talk to you guys. Re Rebecca, the reseller, are you still here? I know she's got a little kid. Um, I want to talk to you guys about how you're preparing to shift your reselling business into spring and summer. I've been reselling a long time, and around this time is when I usually start making a big switch. Oh, she's here and listening. Rebecca, the reseller, I want to talk to you guys about something. I love Rebecca, the reseller. I'm here and listening. I'm packing reseller boxes. Very interesting conversation going on about the fakes. So you guys, I just want to share with you that, um, so for the last two days, I have been taking Rebecca, the reseller's um, course, boutique course. Um, it is a course. It's awesome. I have a link in my description section down below. If you want to check it out, that'll give you 20% off. This is really exciting for me because you guys know I've been reselling a long time and I think my longevity, part of it has come from I'm always changing and trying new things. I'm always keeping it interesting. Reselling is never stale for me. I'm never bored. Um, and I attribute that to like getting out of my comfort zone sometimes with what I'm selling and trying new things. So Rebecca made a course on how to sell boutique on Poshmark. Do you guys know about boutique on Poshmark? 
So I'm learning all about it. The course is really good, extremely thorough. Um, and I want to share that with you guys, see if you guys have any questions. And what do you guys know about selling boutique? Has anyone here done it? Do you have any experience with it? What's her interest level? I think it's pretty awesome. She really goes over in the course um, the benefits, you know, the benefits of selling boutique, which I didn't really know about. But I kind of love the idea of like maybe picking out my own boho stuff and having a boutique closet or a part of my closet boutique. So I wanted to let you know I'm doing that. It's super fun. Um, it's a really good course. And there's a link in my description for a discount or if you just want to go over there and check it out and see what it's and And I think she's in the chat. So if you guys had questions, we can answer them. I'm not done yet. It's a very thorough course. It's very well done. And I'm really excited. Hey, James made it in. James, we missed you. We just had a whole conversation all about selling fakes. And I know you could have helped us um, educate us about some of that. Mo says, I am steam cleaning a bunch of men's items I bought from ThreadUp. It was a really good box. Oh my God, I want to get my hands on another ThreadUp rescue box. That's men's. I love ThreadUp rescue boxes right now. I'm so grateful for them. I'm even with thrifting open, I'm still going to do them because they're awesome. But the men's box is particularly good. So if you can get your hands on that one, I recommend it. It's always been good. All right, let's see what I'm missing. Rebecca says, so excited that you're giving the course and boutique a try. I've always been interested, but it's like I knew nothing about it. And I just wasn't sure. I don't know. I like it's, it's, it's something new for me. So I really have, I have to learn. Like I, I you can't just try boutique and be like, Oh, I'm going to go source from a vendor, some boutique items and try and wing it yourself. I mean, that would be hard. There's a lot of trial and error. So I think the course is going to save us that James is here. I'm here. Hey y'all. I wonder if Torvald's coming up tonight. He's been so busy lately on his own YouTube watching. <laughs> ah, Lindsay says, I see many people are reporting increased sales, presumably from receiving the stimulus. When did I just got my stimulus? I don't know. Like it hasn't even been a week. So are they seeing them already? I, however, have not seen a boost. I've been sending out hundreds of offers since 11 a.m. and only one bite. I have weeks like that. I wouldn't say that this past week has been any better or worse. So I personally am not seeing like stimulus went out this week. People are shopping more. I know that I, um, I think the economy will be boosted in all sorts of ways. Like Peter and I, for the first time, booked a weekend away at the coast in a few weeks. And I was like, okay, I haven't wanted to do that before. We went out to dinner twice last week. We went to the thrift store. So I do think people are going to start getting out more, not just the stimulus, but because of the vaccine. What do you guys think about that? How will it affect our reselling business? But that said, I took the boutique course and I just haven't taken the plunge yet, but I'm going to really good info. That's awesome. Deborah's talking to Michelle saying something about, for me, it's shorts and sleeveless tops. It's weird. It's like there's been a switch. Okay, so I bet we're going to be talking about um, the switch to spring. Rebecca says, I provide a whole list of vendors in the course. Yeah, I haven't got to that point yet, so I'm super excited. Um, so if anyone wants to take it, use my linky link down there. And then we could maybe like talk because like when you're learning a lot, I'm taking notes, notes, notes. And then it's like, what'll be my next step? Okay. Let me see researching some things. So I'd love to have people to talk about it. If anyone wants to have a little like informal chat about it, I'd be so up for it. Resale royalty says Friday is always my worst sales day of the week. LOL. No idea why. Isn't that funny? Like for so long, my best sales of the week, um, my my best sales day was Monday. I'm like, why is everyone buying from me on Monday? Like, um, but for Posh this week, sales were a little slower. So I, I, I like ramped things up. I just sent out some more offers. I just shared more. I just, you know, I just got on there and I made like four sales today and maybe four yesterday from sending out 20% off. I'm just checking. I don't like to report false information, but something like that. But I had to work it this week to get those. Um, and that's good for me over on Posh as a part timer and everything. Yeah. And I started selling a lot of linen, which I talk a lot about in my most recent video about selling boho and lag and lock. I sold two pair of linen pants. That's a sign that spring and summer is coming. Um, if 
Okay, so I sold a Talbot's pair of pants, 20 bucks, and another Talbot's pair of pants for 26 bucks, both linen. I sold another linen tunic. So this is telling me spring is upon us. So let's see, what are you guys doing? What do you do in your business? Here we are, March, mid-March. I know it's still snowing some places, but it's like moving in. Before we know it, spring, summer, what do you do? What's a tip you can offer the community in the chat? What are some strategies you have? What questions do you have? How do you start um, preparing for spring and summer? I have a lot of things that I could offer, but let's see what you guys have to say. Rebecca is reminding people to smash the like button. As of right now, we have 41 friends watching. So hopefully there's about 40 or so likes. I know people come in and out. If you're watching the replay, make sure you're subscribed and you've hit that little like. Veronica said, I made nine or 10 today. It was nuts. Did you do anything in particular? And Veronica says, my best day used to be Thursday. I thought people were just getting their direct deposit. That's what I thought like Thursday or Friday. Um, Islet Dreams is talking to Zoe saying she can relate. Summer stuff is selling here despite the temps still in the 40s. People are looking forward. I don't know what your mindset is about it, but I notice I'm like, okay, I got my first vaccine. My second one's in a couple weeks. Okay, I got my stimulant. Okay, it's sunny out now, and it's starting to be like 50s and 60s for people in other places. I want to get out a little more. That means I want to wear some things that aren't leggings. <laughs> I want to like put on my pretty dresses and my tops. I'm starting to get that little buzz. So I'm hoping we're going to get sales. Barbara says, I list anything at any time. If it isn't listed, it won't sell. I agree with you, Barbara. I'm not like, um, I'm not like, oh, I'm only going to list summer stuff now. I, I have a bunch of sweaters still to lift, list. I've got a bunch of stuff, but I will start saying, okay, like I've been putting off, I have two bins of dresses to list. I've been like, mm, no one's buying dresses, but now time to get those dresses listed. So it's just a little bit of a switch in my thinking. Nine or 10 sales, Veronica. Awesome. Rebecca, the reseller says, LOL, use Quimby's linky link for the boutique course. Use my linky link. Anyone want to take it with me? So he said, I sold a pair of sandals today. So spring, summer sales are definitely happening. Oh, uh, what does Babette say? I let, I let dreams reseller Charlene up in Canada. Every once in a while, I'll watch one of her videos and it's so cheap. Like she goes to these thrift stores and it's so inexpensive. And I'm just like dripping with jealousy. Like, oh, could I get stuff that cheap? I went to, um, I went to a church thrift store. That's where I got all my boho stuff. So we have to drive across town. It's like 25 minutes out of the way. Um, but the prices are a little bit better. Like a top is $4. Jeans are six. Pants are only $3.75. That's super cheap where I am. But Charlene gets stuff cheap. I like cheap. Um, she says she's sorting through summer inventory and have two large garbage bags of summer dresses and more. Summer stuff is selling here despite 46 degrees. Oh, my God. You know what, Charlene? I want to, like, sit with you and drink our tea and sort through your garbage bags. Like, that <laughs> That it sounds like my idea of the best time ever. Like, I need some, like, thrifting friends where we can just like talk that's how I feel like we are a little bit with my videos when I do a haul and I'm showing you stuff but wouldn't it be fun one day we'll all be together and we'll thrift and we'll go through our stuff and it'll just be like the best day of my life oh I see a super chatty I gotta find it <gasps> from evolving always Terry thank you for your contribution to the community Quemby oh my gosh thank you for yours you guys if you have your phone right now or an, open another tab and go over to Evolving Always Productions and subscribe to her channel. She is awesome. She did an interview with me, and it was one of my best interviews, you guys. Like, she was so thoughtful. We talked about all sorts of stuff, personal, business, reselling. She does a ton of interviews. And she just has, like, the best inspiring attitude. So do me a favor. Let me know in the chat if you did it. If you're not subscribed, some of you might already be. Go on over to her channel at Evolving Always and subscribe and let me know you've done it. I want to support her because she's awesome. And sometimes the most awesome women with their channels, they're not pushing themselves enough. They're not promoting themselves enough and being like, my channel. And I don't know about you, me coming from nowhere with a YouTube channel, I had to push. I had to post about her on Instagram all the time. I had to go over to everybody's YouTube channels and leave comments and 
connect. Like there's a lot to do if you don't have a big following and no one knows you to get your YouTube channel out there. And more people need to see your great content. So you have to push it. I know it's horrible. <laughs> I don't like like self promotion, but I don't know. I think YouTube space is quite competitive and I think you need to do it. Veronica says, I sold mostly t-shirts and jeans. I never pick up t-shirts. Maybe I get them in a box, but what, do, I mean, t-shirts? How much can you get for a t-shirt? Alana said, not going to a big pricey city like Toronto or Vancouver. And Terry says, thank you, wonderful Quimby. I think you are wonderful. Like you are an amazing person. And Deborah said, she's already subscribed to Evolving Always. Who can I shout out for going over there and subscribing? I would appreciate it. Barbara Baba says, I was in CT earlier in the month and I stopped by the bins and bought 50 pounds at 88 cents a pound. <sighs> Barbara, I like you so much, but now I'm thinking I don't even know if we can be friends because <laughs> if you can get stuff for 88 cents a pound, I'll be too jealous to hang out with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I called my bins. Hey, this is a step. I called my bins this week and was like, are you open yet? They're like, no, we haven't opened the whole time. Any idea when you're going to open? No, but I need to get back. My bins is 179 a pound and it's rough, rough, rough. But I would go now because I've been spending so much on inventory. I want to get my cost of goods down. Deborah said, I'm still picking up winter stuff at the 99 cent sales, but I've got so much spring summer stuff I'm listing daily. I'm focusing on sourcing and listing warm weather stuff. I think that's smart. And you know what else is smart, Deborah? If you can do it, I used to do this a lot. Like when I was going to the thrift stores, come spring, summer, nobody looks at the jackets and the sweaters. So I could go over there and find the best stuff, cheap because nobody else wanted sweaters come June. So I really do recommend if you can do it, if you have the storage space shop off season for your reselling business, you'll, you'll get so much great stuff. And I would just put it in bins and I would put list in the fall. Cause I, if I have enough other stuff to list, I'd list my spring and summer, but I don't mind putting stuff away and pulling it out and being so excited to find it again next season. If you, if you've got a couple um, bins uh, to put it in, Oh, James is driving. And James says, I've gotten the dresses and linen out and sandals. Linen, linen, linen. I try and push it as much as I can. It sells kind of regardless of brand. Get your wide leg linen, linen pants or linen tunics. Get that stuff out, friends. It sells for me. I recorded a video today for next week. That is, I think it'll be next week. Um, I did a little like deep dive into my... Um, data to see what brands are really selling. So I'm putting out like my top 10 selling brands right now in the past three to six months. James at Antique Boutique. I sold a vintage Pendleton wool blanket coat with a Southwestern pattern worth 200 to 250 and I sold it for 150, just not to store it. I bought it for 15. I, I probably would have done that. Everyone's different, but if someone's gonna give me 150 bucks for something I spent 15 on, I'm gonna take that money and run. They feel like they got a great deal and you made a lot of money. Perfect. Veronica said, I don't do anything special. I just got decent offers. So you weren't doing anything to get those um, eight or nine sales today. Jamie is here. List those dresses. I've sold several dresses this week. Let me check and see. I think I did because I've been, I've been saying to you in all my videos, my poor dresses are sitting. Dresses is usually a great selling category for me. Um, people pay more for a dress. It's like an entire outfit and they feel like it's special for work or for going out formal party. I love dresses and my dress bins are like overflowing, but I feel like I have so, so I feel like I have sold a few more recently. It's going to check and see if I, cause I know I was like, Ooh, dresses. I've been sending out offers and, and accepting um, a lot of low offers on dresses. Kim says, I feel like now is the golden time to get out and shop spring and summer because many shoppers are not quite running to the shorts racks yet, but my stores are starting to put them out. That's really smart. That's a really great tip, Kim. I appreciate it. It's true. It's like, you should either be like ahead or behind of the season as a reseller. Think ahead and behind like, okay, come June, no one's going to want those jackets. Go buy the best jackets. 
Right now, I'm definitely not looking for shorts yet if I go thrifting as a regular person for myself. But as a reseller, you might have the first um, dibs on those summer dresses and those shorts. So think ahead. James says, I tend to do well with boutique accessories. Yeah, in Rebecca's course, the um, reseller boutique course, she talks about it, a bit about jewelry. I haven't done it yet, but I'm open to it. Check out her course. Sarah Lee said, it's still winter. First day of spring is March 21st. So we have a few days. Mo said, do you want to talk about the new video feature on Posh? I don't know. <laughs> I do and I don't. What do you guys think? So in case you're in the dark, Poshmark, instead of just photos, is now offering that you can put a video in. I think I need to do more research. I think I need to see what other people are doing. I don't want it to feel like way more work. Like, oh my God, now I have to take all these pictures and a video. Also, a catch for me is that I use a VA. So my VA makes my listings. Now, how do I get her videos? It's a complicated thing for me. What do you guys think? I'll go down to the bottom of the comments now and see if anyone has anything to say. What do you guys think about the video feature? Alana says, I want to try the video feature for a snow globe music box. It's a good point. Do you think it's going to be better for um, non-clothing items? I don't want to have to model everything either. I mean, I know it's probably not just modeling. I want to see what's happening and how other people use it before my vote is in. Goddess Thread said, I just started cross-posting on Poshmark a couple of months ago, but do so much better on eBay. That was my experience for a long time, but finally Posh has caught up, so stay with it. Hey, Jen's here. When'd you get here? Bora Bora Jen. I've been grabbing the board shorts. I love selling them. Is that men's or women's or a swim? I love swim. I'm making a video for you guys about swim coming up. That's one of the things I personally have done to get ready and think ahead. So in um, February, I bought a bunch of wholesale swim. So I haven't unboxed it yet because it's not a huge priority right now, but I'll make a video for you about selling swim, what sells well for me, what sold well in the past. So do you guys sell swim? Rebecca said she has to get Geo to bed. Have a great night. Great to see. Hey, Brittany made it in. Brittany, all bossed up. Um, I just made up. She is not. That is not her jingle. <laughs> She'd probably be like, no, no. Great to see you, Brittany. I'm glad you're here. Lori Richardson. God, I've been loving following you on Instagram and seeing like your throwback pictures. I mean, you're just the coolest person. Your history of fashion and culture stuff is just so fun to watch. She said, gah, I feel like I just caught up with listing all my winter stuff and now it's time for spring and summer. I know, I know. I've been all about the sweaters and the jackets and I still have a big bin of sweaters. I don't have that many jackets. I'm stuck with a whole bunch of blazers too because I get them a lot of my mystery boxes. I haven't been buying them myself and they're not selling because who's wearing blazers? Like the very few of you that are going to work um, I have so many gorgeous blazers and they are not selling. Zoe said I'm having a 50% off coat sale just to try and get them out of my house. That's a good idea. But if they don't sell, I'll hold on them until next year because some of them are great. Yeah, I'm not going to like, I'm not going to sell myself short and put all my blazers for 10 bucks because I want to get rid of them. I'm, I'm fine just waiting till next fall or people start going back to work again. You know, uh, Rhonda is here. Rhonda, Rhonda Techshide Yard. Oh, this is a good point. Yard garage sale started last week where I live. Ooh, ooh. Tell me in the comments, do you hit up, are you a good um, yard sale, garage sale? I have something in my eye. Sorry, it's bothering me. It's probably like an eyelash. Um, do you guys do yard sales and how, how are they where you live? Yard sales are great, inexpensive sourcing for me. I can't wait to road trip to the bin store. I've never been to one. Oh my God, you've got to keep us posted. Wow. I, you know, yard sales are not as great where I am. I've lived in other places where the yard sales are fire, where people sell stuff cheap. I feel like around here, it's like people either want a ton of money for their stuff or they're just not that many and they're not that great but I'm still gonna go because I have been to yard sales. I have old videos on the channel from last year going where people put like a mound of clothes on their driveway and you pick through and it's like, 
a dollar an item or something. I mean, that is just so worth it. So definitely want to hit up some yard sales. Let's see what else is happening. Ginger said, I live in an area where the average um, HH income is less than 50K, yet some of our thrift store prices for jeans is $10. It's just not, it's not just expensive in the big cities. That's a really good point. I'm kind of feeling like, oh, it's because of my area, but maybe not. Why is that where you are? Living for naps. Quemby, visit me in Northern Virginia, where, I, where we can volunteer at my favorite thrift store donation center and pack a bag for $5. Clothes, handbags, shoes. Oh my God, I'm on my way. I'm out the door and packing my suitcase. <laughs> you know, I see people going to like church thrift stores and rummage sales. And I'm like, where are my rummage girls? When I grew up on the East Coast, Oh, good. Lori, subscribe to Evolving Always. Woo -woo. Thank you, Lori. I appreciate it. And so does she. She's awesome. You won't forget it. I mean, I grew up with church sales like that. Mom, do you remember those? And it's like, yeah, you'd fill up a bag. Or, I mean, it was just so cheap. I, I And they were good. I just don't, I don't remember. I just think it's not that good here. Um, Veronica said her bins are 159, but 129 once you hit 20 pounds. Mine aren't like that. Alana said, I did great finding boots in the summer, but nothing since then. Thank you guys. Have so many great things to say. Mo said, would you have a good bubbly personality that helps a whole bunch? Or maybe I say, um, maybe you think I have one. <laughs> oh, I don't know. 88 cents. 88 cents. Oh, my God. Oh, Evolving Always. That's right. James says, I love her interview style, too, at Evolving Always. Yeah, she's really good. Okay, God, there was so much up here. Terry is here. Terry, subscribe to Evolving Always. Thank you. Um, great to see you, Terry. The other Terry. Thank you very much. And Deborah's already subscribed. Thanks, friends. I really appreciate it because guess what? It might be you next time that we're like, hey, everybody go share her posh closet or everybody go subscribe. That's one of the things we can do here, right? That is the point. Well, one of the points of creating community. You know, we want to support each other and help each other and have each other's back because guess what? It might be you that wants some help next time. And we want to help you. We want to help you all. <gasps> it's Lisette. Oh, my God. She's coming out of hiding for the show. <laughs> Lisette is here. Oh, my girl, Lisette. Man, Lisette said, I love yard and tag sales. They started here also. Oh, my God. I don't know if Peter's listening, but can you check and see if we can go any yard sales tomorrow? Veronica said, our yard sales aren't great. You know, and Michelle says, some of the yard sales here are overpriced. I want to keep an eye out for the curb alerts after the sales. Ooh, what's that? Like people say, hey, we don't want to put the stuff back in the house. Where do you get curb alerts? I think there's an app. Oh, my God. You guys have gotten me so excited. Oh, good. Alana, subscribe to Evolving Always. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Anybody else? Anybody else can go over there and subscribe, please? Goddess Threads. Love estate sales. I find lots of vintage. Ooh. That's awesome. Um, Wow. You guys have just got me all psyched up for yard sales. I hadn't even really been thinking of it. But the weather's nice here. It's not as raining. Maybe there'll be some. I hit an awesome flea market a few months ago, but everyone's saying hi to Lisette. Lisette took a very much needed um, social media break. Tell us about that if you're here, Lisette, and you want to. Like, um, I'm like so in the social media, and I've been catching myself lately being like, what the heck am I doing on Instagram? Like, what am I doing here? Like, it's just a thing I do where I'll list some stuff, check Instagram. Da -da -da -da, check Instagram. What am I doing? Like, I love connecting with people over there and it's awesome platform, but like, I need to get to work. Is anyone else having that? But bet subscribe. That's awesome. Okay. I got something on here. Um, Zoe said, I want to go to the estate sales that Lee Lynn goes to. Michelle says, when they put the stuff out that doesn't sell on the curb, they usually on marketplace or local sales pages. Wow, I need to check that out. So like maybe Craigslist or Facebook marketplace, they'll say, hey, I put out the stuff I didn't sell at the yard sale. Oh my God, I'm like such a picker at heart. Like <laughs> I'm the worst, we'll be driving by and I'll be like, babe, talking to Peter. 
I'll be like, babe, I wonder what's in that dumpster over there. Like, what? Like, I do not need to be going into dumpsters, but I just can't. Like, there's a part of me that's like always looking for the free stuff or that's like, what am I doing? I don't know. It's, it's a funny part of my personality. Maybe I'm not the only one with it. Like, you know, I don't need to necessarily be going in dumpsters. Oh, babe's home. Hi, babe. You. What are we doing tonight after the live? Oh, okay. You guys are going to cook. All right. Oh, my little Petey's home. Little. He's six feet tall. <laughs> okay. Lisette said, I deactivated both my business and personal again. I had to make sure I didn't lose them permanently. So I had to reactivate. I'll be back in a few weeks. I need a mental break. I totally respect it. I'd love to actually hear more about that. I mean... Uh, Terry said, yeah, I feel the same way. I don't know where her comment just blipped right by. And she's still on. Sarah Lee said, estate sale tomorrow of a retired interior designer. Oh, my gosh. The other thing I love thrifting for and sourcing is, is home decor. Like, that's my favorite stuff. Like, not to sell because I haven't quite moved into the market of storing it and shipping that stuff but i love interior stuff maybe you should if you can um sarah lee take some pictures and post them on instagram and tag us or something um i'd love to see what's there bora bora jen i'm about to move to another state and all i want to do is keep thrifting where are you what's up where are you going remind us what's happening there mo said yeah i meant to say you have a bubbly personality and you're fun to watch oh thank you have you guys been watching my most recent videos with all my crazy bloopers? I'm editing a video right now. And I'm just like, I said to Peter the other day, I'm like, babe, the blooper section of the video is actually longer than the content section of my video <laughs> because I am just like such a quirky mess. It's like the whole video is like, la, la, la. oh, wait, now I'll say some. I mean, I used to just cut all that out. And then I realized, you know what, Quimby? This is kind of who you are. Like I'm showing up more. Uh, I've got a little more confidence now. I've been on YouTube almost two years. I'm um, So I've been putting all the bloopers in it at the end. So some of you have written and said you're enjoying it. And I'm just like, I just laugh at myself. You, that's what you have to do. You have to just laugh at yourself. Goddess Thread said, love estate sales. I find lots of vintage. Where are you guys selling your vintage? And Lisette loves yard sales. <laughs> Yeah, mm, I love them. I haven't been to a good one. Kim loves yard sales. Everybody loves yard sales. And uh, Lisette's reminding us to subscribe and hit the bell notifications and hit the thumbs up. Thank you very much. I hope you guys do. Brittany said someone told me their blazers are selling well. I have not sold a blazer in a long time and I've got some beauties. I've gotten some amazing blazers. I got a ton from um, Thread Up and from Joe Mar. I think they're not selling as much in the stores, so they're putting them in mystery boxes. I've got these gorgeous made in Italy blazers. Um, I'm just imagining maybe next fall they'll start to go. Maury said, IMO, there might be a few specific reasons to want to do video in a listing, but not for every item. It's just more work to do. But I rarely use stories. I've never used stories. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot to learn there, but I'm not, I'm not on, I'm not on yet. I'm gonna see what people are doing and make a decision, maybe. Dorothy says, I bought swimsuits this year wholesale. Hopefully they do well. So did I. Um, I bought I bought swimsuits. Ginger said, I'm really over posh right now. Next, they'll want you to stand on your head and sing in order to make a sale. Maybe. I know. It's just like, I guess we could look at it like, ooh, more opportunity, more features, or like, oh my God, more they want us to do. I mean, I just do what I want to do. Like, you know, I've been on eBay a long time and everyone freaks out about eBay free returns, eBay free shipping. Just don't do it. Like, I don't do it. I sell what I sell. You know, I do the best I can. You have to do what works for you in your business. If you really don't want to do video, don't do video. You'll still sell stuff. I mean, Brittany says, I think the video feature will help bring items to life. But yes, it could add to the workload. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I don't know how I would do it with my current setup with my um, VA and everything. James says, some items may be easier with video. Black, shorts, for example, really good point. And Bora Bora Jen said, I've been using it for shoes and bags. 
And Veronica says, meh, not excited about the video. So we said, not talk about the video feature. My mind can't handle it. And, J and Boris and Jen said, it's easy to add videos. So you know what? I think I'm like starting, like many of you guys, it sounds like I'm just in the gathering information stage. I better go over there and check and see. I haven't even looked into it, honestly. I don't know. I don't want to add a bunch of work. I send all my stuff to my VA. She puts things together. The thought of sending her video is like over the top for me. So I don't know. But it's an opportunity. Do it or don't do it, you know? Don't get stressed out over it. <laughs> Lissette said, it's a 15-second video, people. <laughs> yeah, like, don't lose sleep over it. Um, let's see. Michelle said, poor thing looked ready to break. I felt so bad for her. I missed something. I don't know what. Oh, Zoe said, Kaylee Elaine just announced she's taking a break and everyone needs one sometimes. I don't know who that is because I'm so out of freaking touch. But, um, yeah. Everyone said hello to beautiful Brittany. Deborah says, I've been bidding on local online estate sales. Whoa. Today sold an item for 20 bucks that was in a clothing box I won for $5. A lot of the box was junk, but I'll probably profit $100. That's cool. How do you find out about the local online estate sales? I have not even done that. But I love yard sales. I... There's so much opportunity to grow. There's so much opportunity to try something new. Like you could do online estate sales. You could do yard sales. You could do videos or not. Like there's, it's just all opportunity. It's just all a chance for us to be like, do I want to try this thing or not? Like I have my hands in so many different baskets and pots or whatever it is they say. It's like, I don't know. I started doing these Etsy downloads and I'm having such a fun time. I made a lot of them for my Grateful Therapist channel because on that channel, everybody's asking me for my materials. Like, well, what questions do you ask teens? How do you run a group? So I went over to Etsy. I made all my materials and I'm making them cheap for like five bucks or less. So I made a few of my reseller materials available. The link is in the description down below to my Etsy store. They're like two, three dollars, you guys. But like the stuff that I use, um, like my daily to-do list is over there. It really helps me to categorize what I need to do. What do I need to do for social media, for cleaning or washing or steaming? What do I need to do for photos? How many things am I going to list today? Put it all on one sheet. Bam, that really helps me. So I've been, I've been, I've had my hand in those pots trying to learn that whole Etsy. You, you just buy it for a few bucks and then you immediately download the PDF and print it off at home. It's amazing. So let me know if there's anything else over there that I already have that you want and I'll, I'll put it over there. But that's been another fun thing I'm doing. There's just, that's what I love about reselling. There's so many things you can do. You can be like, I'm done with clothes. I'm doing shoes or handbags. You could be like, I'm done with posh. I'm going over to Etsy. I'm selling vintage now. I mean, it's endless. It's endless what you can sell and make money on. I just love it. Zoe said, I do, but for video, can it white out video background? That would be amazing. Oh, lots of questions. I'm sure there's videos that would about be it. Super amazing. Torvald is in the house. In the final moments here. You guys all know him. And I told him he doesn't need to tell you guys to subscribe because most people who's here, I don't get new subscribers on my lives. The lives are to connect with you guys. Like, you guys are already subscribed, but did you like? Now yes, that is a question. Did you hit the like? <laughs> Lisette said, I love the stories in the video options. So many pieces show better on video, the color, the flow, and so on. Use them to your advantage. So um, would it be okay with you, Lisette, if we come over to your posh closet and take a look and see what you're doing and learn? Um, sh her posh closet is posh is my purpose. I haven't even looked at people's video. I haven't even gone on a listing and seen people's video. I got to read this one again from Lisette. It's a 15 second video, people. <laughs> anyway. Oh my gosh, Mo and Terry. I love you guys. Look at this. You came up and immediately look what we're, look what we're dealing with. Yep. Two chicken points. Terry gets some chicken points. You guys are the best friends Three ever. If you're, if you're like, what's oh, that about? Two, Mo's got a couple chickens for you. Jen's got. I love you guys. Five Jen's chickens. got a chicken. Zoe's got a chicken. Borabor Jen's got four some more chickens. Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and Lissette is laughing at all of us. 
See, list out what you've missed on your mental health break. This could actually be good for your mental health. <laughs> and look at Deborah says. It's a chicken competition. <laughs> In case anybody here is like, what the heck's going on? Chicken, chicken. Torvald raises chickens. He's obsessed. Would you say you're obsessed with the chickens? <laughs> and the chickens are going bok, bok, bok. James has got his bok, bok, bok. Chicken bok. Torv this is so funny. I hope somebody is like watching this part of the video who's not one of our regulars. And they're like, what the is going on over there on the Grateful Queens reselling channel. Why are they making chicken noises and showing chicken emojis? You have to be in the crowd. You have to be like in the know. You guys are awesome. Can it add a chicken? <laughs> you guys are the best. I just love my 41 friends who are sitting on here doing chicken stuff. I got a super chatty Ooh, from Brittany. Brittany, all bust up. Hit the thumbs up. Yeah, every time you get a super chat. Now, here's another person. Brittany, all bust up, has got a new YouTube channel, and she's also doing a ton of motivating content about reselling, but also about business, you know, business motivation. I like when people do, like, reselling and, you know what I mean? Like, you get a lot more over there, and she's got some good people. Tell us again. I heard you on Instagram, Brittany. You've got some, who's on your next, um, on your next lives? Like she's doing interviews with all these awesome people. She's got a good channel over there. So definitely check her up on Instagram and on YouTube at Brittany All Bossed Up. She's got a lot to offer. Let us know who are your next people being on there. I heard you on Instagram. I can't remember. And I'm like, Ooh, we got to get over there and watch that. Thank you very much. The super chats make my night and really help me out. And you got us do it. Veronica's got a couple chickens too. We're about to get some baby chickens happening. Also known as chicks. Zoe chat. Native community farm. Watch for fundraisers for them. Hmm. Dorothy said, I watched your shoe cleaning video this week. I've been slacking on cleaning. I know. I got another thread up shoe box. I did do a cleaning day. I washed like 20 pairs and I still have two more bins to watch. That's kind of a little bit of a... um. That's the hard thing about getting the purses from thread up and the shoes. You have a lot of work to do when you're done because they're DIY. They're usually dirty and it's not even hard to do. Just set up your cleaning station outside and do it. But it's like, you have to make the time to do it. Set up the cleaning station. I just did it again. It's a lot of work, but the money is worth it. Oh, look at Deborah. Deborah, you're an awesome community mate. I just subscribed to Bit Brittany. I'll start watching when we sign off. I love interviews. Awesome. I really love to hear that you guys are doing that, going over and Ooh, subscribing. Oh, I saw baby chicks. Go down. Baby chicks. Baby Where's chick. baby chicks? Oh, Bora Bora Jen found the chicks. The chicks, baby, baby chicks. chicks. <laughs> All right, friends, we're going to wrap up. Is Peter down there making dinner? Yeah. Peter's down there making dinner, and we're up here doing chicken stuff. So, um, oh, look, Terry subscribed to Brittany. I love you guys. I really appreciate it. Oh, um, you're here and you're late. Go back and watch the beginning. I read your, um, the comment you sent me all about selling fakes. I read the letter. Um, you can go back and watch it and hear people's insight on it. So hopefully when we're finishing up here in a minute, you just start over at the beginning and people had a lot of comments and thoughts. So I'm sorry you missed it, but we definitely talked about it. Brittany said the next live is on Sunday. It's a community chat, several special guests and giveaway. Then Monday, Sarah Styles, And then Tuesday, the Posh Kings. So that's awesome. And we got a few people to go over there and um, subscribe. And hopefully if anyone's watching the replay, they'll go subscribe too. Living for Nap says, love you, Q. And Lisette says, have a great night, everyone. And Living for Nap says, be well, everyone. Okay, friends, we had such a fun time. It goes so quick. I shall see you next Friday, if not sooner. Make sure to like the video on the way out, guys. Wait, Bye. wait, we got to.